In this video, we'll be talking about the new Cadence Design Library and giving you an overview of how it works. We're going to show it to you on a couple of different sites. This is the new podcast starter template that's available in the Cadence Starter Template plugin. We are going to go ahead and create a new post and we'll get started with the design library. This is brand new to Cadence. This was just launched. So if you're getting started with building out a brand new site or even a brand new page, this has every Everything that you need. We have a number of different patterns available. We have hero areas, cards, columns, media and text. And if you are searching for something specific, you can just drill down in that way. We also have pages built out. So if you want a brand new home page, you can see those here. An about page services or even contact pages just to get you started but if you're looking to build something from scratch yourself we have everything you need here in these patterns where you can build out pages one thing that's important to realize is that the cadence design library instead of images to show you what these sections look like it is actually an iframed collection of blocks so this is actually what it will look like when it's being pulled into your site each individual site is going to pull in something that looks a little bit different because this is going to be inheriting from your themes settings. So your theme that is setting a specific font and specific colors. We can change those colors down here if we want to go dark mode or maybe we want to use our highlight color in order to pull in specific sections. Let's get building a page on this new podcast starter template and see what that looks like. So let's say we want to start with a hero area Area, and we want that to be more of a darker look and feel. We can pull that particular section in. It will prepare the content and load that right into your page. We want to pull in something underneath that is perhaps a logo farm. So we want to pull in various logos and let's say we want some imagery behind that. We can pull this particular one in. Let's say underneath that we would like to pull in an accordion and we will have some specific things that we would like to take a lot of copy and pull it into a shorter area where people could drill down into the information that they need. And we see that those images are all being populated here. And then let's say underneath that, we would like something that has more of a lighter framework. We could go ahead and let's say we want some media and text. And pull in something with a lighter area and that will fit right in. And let's say we wanted to just break these up a little bit. Maybe we want that section to be pulled in higher up. Can pull that in that way. So then we can maybe have some light, dark, alternating situation happening here. A discussion about the Cadence Design Library would not be complete if we didn't take a look at how the Cadence theme sets up colors and fonts in the customizer. So we're going to go over to the customizer for this particular demo. And we're going to go into colors and fonts. If we change the topography for the site, that will be inherited into the new design library. And if we change our colors, that will inherit as well. Now with the global palette, this is something that we need to really understand how it works. There are nine different colors here that are used in your site's theme and in the design library in a very specific way. So so first off, we have our accent color, which you're seeing obviously down here. And when we roll over here, we see that we're getting a bluish color, which would be that second alternative accent color. Then we have our strongest text and that dark mode color. We have another strong text setting here, medium text, subtle text, and then we have a subtle background color here, which is more of a creamish color, a lighter background, which here maybe has a little bit of a bluer tone, and then we have our white or off-white setting. And of course we have a variety of different color palettes that are available here. And as you select those, that the entire site is changing. So when you're working with the color palette, it's really important to understand how this works. So that when you are working with your site's design library, for example, when you are building out a new page, 
it is important to understand that design library and these colors are inheriting. So as we drill down into some of these other colors, we can see that some of those other accent colors show up. So when we have that call to action that may have a rollover that's pulling in from that particular theme's settings. So it's important to understand that as well. Another thing to understand with the design library is that it's different on every site that you're using. So here on this podcast site, we see various elements that we can pull into our site when we're building out a new page. But if I switch over to another site, which is Sally's Possum Cat Blog, which has specific settings in its customizer, we'll take a quick look at those colors and fonts there. And we have some various blue being used on this particular site. So these are going to inherit into that design library. So let's take a look at what the design library looks like if we're on Sally's cat blog. And again, that is going to be very different than what we see on the podcast template. So here we see that bright blue popping over here as an accent color. We can set it up so that that accent color is a primary color when we are laying out a page. So if we go into the hero images. Again, we're inheriting the font and those accent colors from what we have set up for Sally's cat blog. So in this way, the Cadence Design Library becomes a custom design library for each site it's installed on. If you have a site that has pinks and purples and all sorts of rainbow colors, that will inherit this design library based on the settings that you choose. In this way, the Cadence Design library becomes a custom tool that you can use on any site and in a way that is most appropriate for the site in question. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy the new Cadence Design Library.